In my opinion, one of the most important attributes of a great speaker is authenticity. And if I would say one thing for sure, it will be that you must be an authentic speaker. My authenticity as a speaker was first tested during my first ever public speaking event, which was a leadership and personal mastery program that I organized in March 2001 at the amphitheater of the Obafemi Awolowo University in Ileife. Looking back, I now realize how naively optimistic I must have been to have booked a 2,000-seater auditorium for my very first speaking event. The good news was that it didn't take long for reality to wake me up from my pipe dream when, by the time we kicked off the program, only 34 people were seated in the attendance in the hall that could seat 2,000 people. And as if that wasn't bad enough, 23 of the 34 people in attendance were actually volunteers on my planning and organizing committee. This simply meant that there were actually only 11 people that had paid to come and hear me speak. And that was only just the beginning of a very long and humbling day ahead. You see, in preparation for that leadership program, I had listened to several audio messages from the great leadership guru, Dr. Miles Monroe. And for several days before my program, I had also repeatedly watched a couple of his videos to the extent that I had so mastered his messages and his presentation style, even to the point where I had now begun to sound exactly like Dr. Miles Monroe. So you can only imagine how battered and disappointed I was staring at a practically empty hall as I went up on the podium to deliver my message to 34 people and the over 1,950 empty seats in front of me. Well, just as I had done during my practice preparation, I practically became the likeness of Dr. Miles Monroe. I'm so sure that if Dr. Monroe had listened to the message I delivered that day, he would have wondered where and when he delivered that message himself. You see, I had taken all my points from his messages. I sounded like him. I gesticulated like him. I even paced my speech just the way he did. This was Dr. Miles Monroe in Feladro to his body. Looking back now, I can see why the people in my audience were all looking so confused. It was clear to them that something was missing, and I just wasn't connecting with them. In actual fact, I had lost them completely. The person that was speaking was not the Feladurotoe that they knew, and this was not the guy that most of them had often held private conversations with. What they got was a different person a fake speaker that was doing his best imitation of Dr. Miles Monroe whilst hiding his true, authentic self. It was Fela Durotue that they had come to see and to listen to, not Dr. Miles Monroe, but I didn't seem to realize that. And although my message was solid and well-prepared, my delivery was clearly deceptive, and this just left my audience so confused. Finally, after two hours of imitating Dr. Miles Monroe, it was time to take a break. I was exhausted and my audience was bewildered. Thankfully, during the break time, one of my friends who had invited from Lagos to also speak at the program came and he hugged me. And I will never forget his words as he said to me, Fella, I know you are very disappointed at the turnout. But you know that the people, a few of them, that have come here still deserve to have you at your very best. And you haven't given them the best yet. Now, considering that I had given my best effort to imitating Dr. Miles Monroe, I was quite puzzled and I asked what he meant. And then he said to me, Fella, you're trying to give them 
the best of Dr. Miles Monroe, but you haven't given them the best of yourself. Fella, just be real and be who you are. That was it. And as painful as the truth was, it was all I needed to reset my compass to align with my true self and my authentic self. So when we resumed after the break, I threw away all the sheets of paper I had prepared from Dr. Monroe's messages and I started to speak from my heart. And as I spoke from my heart, my true passion was ignited and the audience literally came alive. They stood and they clapped and they shouted all through my message. It was amazing. The real Fela Durotoye ignited the audience in a way that I hadn't seen since we started the program. And the audience loved the real and authentic me much more than the fake imitation of the great Dr. Miles Monroe. Now, something else happened that I really can't explain. But I later noticed that as I became my true and authentic self on that stage, more people began to show up and the number in attendance went from about 34 to well over 60 people by the end of the program. Now, in my opinion, I had been rewarded with double the attendance just for being authentic. And whilst the turnout was still devastating, I was so grateful for the amazing feedback about the impact that my words made on the audience after I decided to give my true and authentic self to them. So that day, I learned my most important lesson, that authenticity brings goodwill, good luck, and good fortune. And since most people prefer the original to the fake anyway, authenticity will always attract more people to you. I have never forgotten this experience and I've carried the lesson of authenticity with me all through my speaking career. Therefore, my all-important golden rule to winning the heart of your audience is be authentic and please be authentic always. Now to be authentic, you must be real. Be yourself, be true. Speak the truth and use real examples where you can. And if you're going to use an example that never happened, say so. There's nothing wrong with using an illustration to make your point, as long as you aren't leading the people to believe that the fictional story that you just told is real. So, be creative, not deceptive. If you're going to reference a story that you've heard but have not yet confirmed, Tell your audience that you have not confirmed if the story is true or false. If you're going to share an anecdote that happened for real or a fact that you have confirmed, then go ahead and say so. Now, I know that sometimes we are tempted to look at someone who we think has achieved a lot and wish, if only I could speak like this person, maybe I would achieve the kind of results he or she has. Well. I have news for you, my friend. From my experience, I have learned that you can never become a great speaker by trying to imitate another great speaker. The best imitation of an original is still a fake. Authenticity is about you being yourself, the original you, the real you. That is where your real value is. Being the genuine, real, and original, authentic you. Your greatness is in your true and authentic self. So, be authentic.